Hey everyone, so this is the Airbnb that we're staying at in Rome. I'll just take you on a long tour. So first off we've got a bedroom. This obviously is like day two or three. This is day three for us. We have been living here, so that's why it's not the cleanest. But it's really, really cute. I kind of want to show you the ceilings as well. Like it's all, it's all very old. But there's cute little details around. Nice little holes around the place. And the bed's pretty comfy to be honest with you. We walk down a nice little hallway here. And then we've got a little rooftop garden thing happening up there. AC, aircon, and all of our mess that is all around the place. Um, the actual place, and of course there's Brandon. <laughs> and Papery. And then here is our cute little tiny kitchen. Now, this is how you make tea in Rome, apparently. You use like a kettle and a gas stove top, so that's been interesting. And we've got the tiniest pantry I've ever actually seen. Don't know how much you'll be able to see it with this light. Oh yeah, you can see that pretty good. But it's definitely a little bit cozy in here. It's still really nice, it's very, very cute. Little outdoor area so you can get some air in and this is my favorite part, it is the bathroom. And I'll just show you around the place. So this is sort of like the total setup with all of our living stuff and then the shower, bath and bidet, a bit strange but whatever, when in Europe. And then the lights can like change colour. I'm just trying to do that right now. See this little thing here? So you can have a little rave in here. Is that on the colour changing one? This is the more intense colour changing one. Okay, I'll actually just film this way. So you can see the mirror reflection. It's really, really cool. It gives like an awesome ambiance. So I really like it. And the shower pressure is interesting, but hey, you get hot water. Ultimately, is it really the hot water the thing that you're actually after when you've had a full day of walking around getting blisters and stuff? I just really like this space. And I'll take you up to the little secret room as well. So there's the tiniest staircase in the world with the creakiest little stairs. Bye sweetie. And then we've got effectively a second bedroom. Nice tiny little space and gorgeous, gorgeous little wooden beams again. And then you look out onto this view, he's made like a little indoor garden. It's so adorable, he's actually put heaps of effort in here. So, seriously, really, really like this little space. I'm really glad that we went with this Airbnb. And because it's on Via Cavour as well, that means that um, we're actually really central. It takes like 10 minutes to walk to Termini. Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, really, really good space. Um, obviously, cobblestones, I still definitely make sure to wear flats. That's all I can recommend. Yeah. Wear flats. Flats. And comfy shoes because oh my gosh, I'm still wearing my comfy shoes but I keep slipping around. So yeah, those are my recommendations anyway. So we're just gonna head out, get some laundry done, and then we're going to a whole bunch of places because it's the last day of our Roma Pass. So we're gonna try and head up as much as we can. So I'm looking forward to taking you guys with us. You don't find places like this in Auckland to just go get your laundry done, hey? It's pretty fancy. Can't complain. <laughs> We're just gonna head over to a really nice park that we actually saw. Um, see exactly what all of that's about. This morning. Oh look, a little statue. So this is where the dogs are in Italy. The dog oh. You can see the Colosseum from here too. I'm not surprised it's a very large structure. See that one? That's the one that I want to live in. Well, I want the whole thing. Look at the cute little fountain. I love all the little lamps and the trees around the place. But this must be like the dog walking place. It's got to be. Might need a little cleaning up. So cute, I like it. 
So you want to walk more towards the Coliseum? Um, I want to actually go up there and walk along the bottom of the ridge up there. Power box? Yeah, I'm in power box. <laughs> oh, hello Coliseum. How you doing? Can really see how big it is, huh? It's so weird to have a coffin and another coffin and another coffin. All of them shot to the front. Imagine this being your university that you go to every day. Oh, can I just have lamps like this everywhere? Streets, hey. Is this leading up to the Spanish Steps now? Yeah. I do believe that's the Spanish Steps, hence the heaps of people. And the pretty buildings on the other side. Oh, look, Sephora. How convenient. Let's just spend all day in here. <laughs> wow. Oh, I feel like I'm in Roman holiday now. All we need to do is go around on the Vespa. We're right by the Piazza del Popolo and we're just going to head on down there now and what's the next place we're going to? We're going to have a lunch. <laughs> we'll have a wander around there but definitely going to get some lunch because we've walked like, I don't know. 1.6 k's roughly. No, it's uh, probably 2 k's now from... Yeah, about 2 k's. Yeah, from, uh, and Michael it is like... 11.30ish, by the time we've made it around there and up to this Arancini Blue, that's where we're heading off to and it's meant to be amazing so I'm actually really excited so let's get going.
United the Vinci Museum because Arantini Blue was actually closed until 12.30. That was really Which cool though. Yeah, that was cool. Um, I had no idea that he was like that dark and twisted though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Got to make money of, somehow. Yeah, he designed so much war stuff. It's really cool. But yeah, we are starving now, so now it's definitely lunchtime. <laughs> Seriously recommend it and all of that because we had like two mains, a third main and a dessert and two glasses of wine, 39 euro. Just amazing, honestly, authentic Italian, just incredible, it's the best food that we've had. So seriously recommend coming Dude. here. Dude. Um, yeah, so he had the ravioli. Twice, ravioli for dessert is the best dessert. And then I had, um, I forget exactly what it was, but it was a uh, pasta with um, eggplant in it and it was incredible. So, yeah, that was nice. Yeah, I'm really glad that we came here and that was from um, reviews on TripAdvisor, but yeah, I hope that uh, that little film that you saw helped you a little bit as well, honestly. So good. Time is happy, now we're oh, off good. to the Borghese Gallery and yep. a whole bunch of other stuff. A long walk to the Borghese <laughs> through some beautiful scenery. Let's have a go. Out that times its seconds by water. This whole space is beautiful. Wish we could get things that precise, sweetheart. I'm terrible at measuring anything, let alone time in water. Um, nay, um, what is with these horses? They don't seem to be having a very good time. They're like best use of roundabouts ever. I wish roundabouts in the city would look like this. They don't look like they're having any fun at all. This is one where the front here looks happy as. He's like, let me free, oh my oh, god, I'm drowning. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. Oh my what a thing to stumble upon. We are definitely looking forward to going inside here, I know that much. It's a bit later in the day than we'd anticipated because it's now, what, three o'clock? But uh, this is meant to be amazing. If it's anything like the building itself, it's going to be a good time.
Okay, so we've just finished at the gallery now, and that took us like an hour and a half, but we yeah. smashed it. We yeah. really want to spend at least two hours there. Yeah, so I like the ticket lasts for like two hours. Are we not going down this way? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Or is it that way? We're trying to find our way to <laughs> the metro station at the moment because, oh my gosh, our feet are killing us. Where are we? This way. Ah, so back I was right. Yep, back yep. where we can. That was right. Um, but anyway, honestly, the frescoes, everything, it's so worth it. And yeah. um, we were actually lucky. I didn't know you had to like pre book a time at all. I had no idea about that. So we actually got lucky that we could yeah. go in there because there were so many tour groups that were happening huh? at the same time. But it was still like, it wasn't too crowded because we got there at three. I can imagine if you were there like between 10 and two, it'd be really crowded and you might not be able to get in without a booking. But we got quite lucky. Yeah, we did. Two hours, but yeah, yeah really you do need two hours. two hours. Yeah. And you spend so much time just looking at the ceiling because those ceilings, like, obviously you'll have seen like some of the footage as well, but I didn't want to like film everything. It's breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. It is. So, honestly, do recommend going there. We used our Roma Pass to go there as well, and that just made the whole ticket purchasing thing a lot easier. And plus, like, that's about um, 12 to 14 euros that it normally costs to go there. So, it's pretty good. I can't complain. We already got a discount as well for the yep, got a discount on it. other place, and then now we're going to be taking a couple of metro um, lines because uh, our feet are about to fall off. <laughs> So, yeah, let's make our way down to Spania. Let's do it. <laughs> Take our dinner. Yeah, keeping it classy. We had a fancy lunch out, so this time we're going to go to a hole in the wall. <laughs> Anyway, we came straight home because our feet are killing us, but this is Brandon's, so this is the one with tomato and basil. And so there you go, because we need to rest our feet. <laughs> Still good. And then we've got mine. So this is the one with eggplant and courgette and I don't know what else. But yeah, it looked really good. So actually kind of looking forward to just having like some comfort food and do you know what the thing is that they actually put um cheese accidentally on brandon's one but instead of like we said oh it's okay don't worry about it they literally just went and straight away made another one so that's good this is yummy it is yummy it's quite nice and fresh and almost buttery that's good i mean like this was like six euro oh, yeah, and yours was like five Oh, uh, 450. Yeah, they're yeah, better, 450. They're better than there. Mm. Yeah. Nice and fresh, easy, quick, good. 